So I made a video all about the Ledger Nano X, this crypto hardware wallet, and thousands of you have found it very helpful. I'm very thankful. But let me go through the top five questions that I've been getting hit with in the comments. And in this video, I'll try to answer all of those for you. All right, so let's kick things off. If you don't know about the Ledger Nano X, this is a great way to protect your crypto by having control over your private keys. I did a video all about this. You can check it out in the link in the description. But the first question I usually get is, where do I get one of these devices? You don't want to buy a fake one. You know, there's some worries about security. So there's a couple places. One, I do have a link that you can buy through Ledger directly. I get some Bitcoin if you do. That's pretty cool. But that might be the safest way uh, to just go directly to Ledger. You can also purchase on Amazon. Just make sure you're on the Ledger store and you can even buy in person at a Best Buy. My advice here is just don't buy a Ledger off someone on the street corner and you'll probably be fine. The next question I get is what happens if I lose this thing? Is my crypto gone forever? Thankfully, the answer to that question is no. As long as you have that 24 word seed phrase, you'll be able to back up your account and have access to your crypto, whether it be on a, another Ledger device or even on a wallet online through Coinbase or some other platform. All right, next up, people have asked, hey, and if I don't have the device present with me, can I still see my balance? And the answer is yes. You'll be able to basically log into the Ledger Live app and see your active balance in real time despite uh, not having your device present. So that brings me to the fourth most common question, which is, do I need the device with me to actually transact, to buy and sell and send and receive and those things? And uh, I wasn't actually sure about this, so I did it myself. What I found is on Ledger Live, you're able to generate an address and you can receive crypto. Now, you're not verifying that address with the device, so there is some more security risks, but it is possible. So I actually generated an address, went to Coinbase, and was able to transfer five bucks of Bitcoin to my ledger without having this present at all. Now, when it comes to sending crypto, I started to go through the process of sending Bitcoin back to that Coinbase wallet, and when I got to the fifth and final step, it wanted me to verify using the device itself. So the answer to this question is yes and no. You can receive Bitcoin or crypto without the device present. You'll just generate an address that is not verified directly with the hardware device. When it comes to sending crypto, you will need this to complete the transaction. And when it comes to buying and selling crypto in the Ledger Live application, I actually don't know because I've never done it. Uh, so that'll be a follow-up video, but I think they make it fairly easy with their partners to transact right there in the application. All right, and before we get to the last and most popular question that you all had, if you found this video helpful, hit the like button and consider subscribing. I put out content like this every week. All right, and the most frequently asked question was, do I need a laptop to set this up? Can I just do it from my smartphone? Do I need both? And let me say that when I got my Ledger Nano X, I plug this right into my laptop through the USB cable and I set everything up there, transferred some Bitcoin. And then I jumped over to my iPhone and I set that up as well. And so now I can see my balances and transact on both, which is super convenient. But if you do not have a phone and a computer, you will be okay setting this up on whatever you may have as long as that device meets the software compatibility guidelines Ledger has on their website. I'll try to link that below. Uh, but basically, if you have a modern iPhone or Android device, you should be fine. Same with your desktop device. There have been comments about firmware updates, uh, but I believe you can actually update those regardless. There's links in the description that show how to do that, whether you're on a computer or a smartphone. Okay, and I think what I'll do is link to part two in the future as I create more of these FAQ videos, hoping to help you out. I'm not an expert here. I'm just learning as I go and sharing those lessons with you. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks.